Hello everyone and welcome to opening day of the 1990-1991 NHL season. We are in Minnesota at the Metropolitan Arena for the game against St. Louis, uh, St. Louis Blues, October the 4th, 1990. We're currently two periods in and the score is 1-1. And the actual result for this game was 3-2 to St. Louis. So we're ready to drop the puck in the third period. And we have Basson against Gagné. And we have a home team face-off win. And that will end up with Neil Wilkinson of Minnesota. So Basson there loses the face-off. And Minnesota coming up the ice. Sports dumping if the left wing's defence is a five and it is not. So the right wing Bellows will get a chance. It's an eight, so it's a shot three. And if the right wing's got a block of three, it will be blocked and he does. So Brett Hull blocks that shot. First block of the game for Hull. And in the second period, Minnesota just ran riot over... St. Louis just couldn't score. There's a loose puck, and it's the offensive left wing who is Brian Prop on a six against the defensive left defender, Paul Cavallini, who is also a six. So the home team will get that, and it will end up with Wilkinson. Minnesota looking to do something with the puck now. Interception if it's left defense, left right defense is seven or more, and they are, so that is intercepted. And it ends up with St. Louis's Bob Basson at the centre spot. Take away if the right wing's take is a one. Well, we know that's going to happen. So, again, a lot of jockeying for position here. Minnesota have the puck right to win. Take away four. And he isn't. So the left defender will have a two. And that will be a shot two. So Neil Wilkinson will get his shot off. First shot of the third period. And it'll be a 32 on the shot two. Vincent Rindeau will save the puck and it will be rebounded to the offensive left wing, Brian Prop, who will have a shot three. The centre's defence is less than ten, so the shot is good. It's greater than it's less than ten, so the shot is good. And a sixteen on the shot three. And there's another rebound. Offensive centre against defensive centre. So that comes back to Gagne, twenty seven, and he will have a shot four. Blocked if the left defender's block is a two. And it is so. Paul Cavallini blocks that shot and the puck is loose. And it's offensive right wing plus one. So he's a six against a defensive left defender who is also a six. So home pick, ice advantage. Brian Bellows picks up the puck and keeps Minnesota on the attack. Takeaways of the centre is a six. It is not. So Bellows passes back to Giles. And Giles will look for a pass. Left defence is seven. No, it is not. So Giles works the puck over to Brian Bellows on an 18, which is a shot two. Defensive right defender is greater than seven. No, he isn't. So the shot is successful. And we have a 56 on the shot two on Rendeau, which is a save and a hold, so he covers the puck and the whistle will go and we will have a face-off. So just like in the second period, Minnesota coming out, all guns blazing, St. Louis just couldn't get any shots off. They had four shots in the second period in total, but the defence stood firm. So face-off win goes to the visitors' left wing, so Basson wins that face-off and the players will skate off the ice and lines will change. Loose puck if the centre's hit is five or more and it is not. So it ends up with the right defence, Glenn Featherston and he will have He'll lose the puck. Centre gets a break if his break is greater than two, and it is. So 
Smith gets a breakaway and it's a shot five. Automatic shot five on a breakaway and it's a shot and it's a goal. So Bobby Smith gets the lead goal in the third period for Minnesota and that is going to be timed at uh, 12 seconds off so that is 208 2 minutes and 8 seconds a even handed goal by Bobby Smith there is no assist because it was a breakaway and so Minnesota take a 2-1 lead on opening day against the St. Louis Blues. And really, it's been coming for the last period. St. Louis have just not been in this game, so we now have a face-off. Rob Brindamore against Broughton. And Brindamore, Brindamore will win that face-off. So can St. Louis counter quickly? Interception at the right wing, right defence is written seven. And it is not. So the left wing, Gino Cavallini, will pick up the puck, but he will lose the puck. And Mike Craig from Minnesota will recover. Penalty if the right wing's penalty is one. So we could have a penalty coming up here. Left wing four. Left wing four is a shot won by Basil McRae. And that shot is on target. And it is a 73, which is a save and a hold. So did we have a penalty there? Sergio, Sergio Mosimo, 27. Yes, we did. So St. Louis, things going from bad to worse. They've got a penalty. And that is timed at... 2.57 and it is Mossem Mameso 2 minutes for cross checking and does he pick up a misconduct with it as well no he doesn't so a chance for Minnesota to Put some distance between themselves and St. Louis here. So we're going to have Herb Raglan face off against Neil Broughton. And Broughton will win that face off. And the puck will end up with Rod Zettler. Force dumping if the centre's, well the centre's not on the ice. Left defence six. Left defence six and he loses the puck. Has the right wing got a break of five? And he does not, but he will collect the puck for St. Louis and skate up the ice. Penalty if the centre's penalty is one. So we could have a, a penalty here against Minnesota and centre 14, lose puck. Offensive centre, so it's still loose. Offensive left wing. Raglan gets the puck. And it's penalty. It's penalty of any defenders, 25 or more, which they're not. Left defender has the puck, 12. He's going to ice the puck and the whistle will go. So did Broughton commit a penalty? He did. And so Minnesota even up the numbers. And this was at 3.55. And Neil Broughton. Gets two minutes for roughing. And there is the person that's gone off. They don't need to change that line. And we have a face-off between Raglan and McRae. And it is won by McRae. But the puck is loose. No, dis no centres on the ice, so they can collect the ball. And it's collected by St. Louis. Robert Dirk, we're on four on four here.
and the lines will change in a sort of lead by two goals to one. The lead goal scored two minutes into this third period. Loose puck if the left defender's hit is greater than six and it is not, so it ends up with Jeff Brown in the 20. And he's going to look to pass, which he does. And left defence, right defence, greater than nine, no. So it comes over to the centre, so we'll have a loose puck. Offensive right defence is a four. And so that is going to be lost to Stu Gavin of Minnesota. And the St. Louis penalty is over. Intercept of the centre and right wing is greater than 10, and they're not. So the left defence has it, 34. And he's going to shoot, and it's going to go wide, so we've got a loose puck. Uh, don't play injuries, so it's the visiting left defender, who is Paul Cavallini, who picks up the puck. Forced to dump in if the left defence's defence is greater than 2, and it is. So we Cavallini will dump the puck in. And that will be collected by Minnesota's Kurt Giles. And they will move the puck up the ice slowly, trying to waste the time left on this time, on this power play. Right defence take greater than five. No. So the left defender has the puck. 37. And he's going to ice the puck. And it's going to end up with St. Louis, but the penalty will expire. Takeaway if the centre's take is greater than two, and it is, so comes back. Perry Berizan has the puck for Minnesota. Loose puck if the hit of the centre is greater than one, and it is. And the loose puck is going to go to the offensive left defender, Neil Wilkinson. And we have a line change. Minnesota 2-1 in the lead in opening day here. 1990-91 NHL season on this St. Louis replay. Original score 3-2 to St. Louis, but losing 2-1. Loose puck if the right wing's hit is six or more, and it is not. So the left wing will have a chance, and it will be a shot one. Shot wide if the defensive left defender is a two, and he hits. So it's wide shot, and... The loose puck will end up with Peter Taglianetti. As you can see, he's a Pittsburgh player, as is the other defender, but they were Minnesota in this game. It's the actual lineups. So six minutes, 40 gone. Interception right wing, right defence is 12, and that is not the case. Left wing, six. So it's a shot three. Is the defensive right wing a defence of six or no? So that shot will be on target, and it is a six. On a shot three, and it's a goal. Goal number three, Brian Prop. So three, third period, Minnesota. The time is going to be 6.28, 6.28, an even-handed goal. So Brian Prop gets the third goal. Second highest assist. And there's two with ten there, so I'm going to give it to Gagne. And the other assist is going to be Bellows. So three goals to one now, so Scott Stevens' line will get a minus. As will David Lowry's line. And Minnesota now have a three goals to one lead. Uphill now for St. Louis to try and recover this game. And St. Louis are going to go
to three, four checkers. Minnesota are going to stay with their current two, four checkers, but St. Louis are trying to go and try and make something happen in this game, going to three, four checkers, and we have a face-off between Brinda Moore and Bobby Smith. And Bobby Smith wins that face-off. Penalty of the centre is a penalty of three, and that could be the case. Left defence five, left defence five. They lose the puck, but the whistles goes. Was there a penalty? 20, yes, there was. So another penalty for St. Louis. And this time it is timed at 6.45. And it's Brindamore. Two minutes for hooking. And did he get... He didn't get a misconduct penalty with it. So a hooking penalty, two minutes, Brindamore's the centre, so that line can stay. And while the penalty's on, they're going to drop back to two four checkers. So we have a face-off between Momesso and Smith and Minnesota win the face-off and have the puck and the power play. Force dumping if the centre, well the centre's not on the ice, right defence 29 is going to be a pass. So fun Fantasek Musil looks to pass the puck up the ice. He jumped in if the left defender's defence is three, and it isn't. So that goes out and back to Musil, and he will get a shot two. Left wing's block is five, no, so another shot. That's the seventh shot already in this period. And it's a shot five. Uh, it's a five on a shot two, and it is a goal! Power play goal, power play goal. So Minnesota are just running riot now on St. Louis. And the time of the goal is going to be 7 minutes 40 exactly. The power play goal from Musil, the right defender. And he assists. The centre if he's a 3, so assisted by Bobby Smith. And the left defender, if he's a five, which he isn't, so very, very quickly. The score is now four goals to one in favour of the Minnesota North Stars. And St. Louis have just imploded in this third period. They were under a lot of pressure in the in the second and managed to hold, but they haven't been able to hold in this one. So we have a face-off between Ron Wilson and Broughton. And Wilson will win that particular battle. But they are three, goal, three goals behind. Takeaway if the left defence's take is an eight, and it is not. So it ends up with Paul McLean, 22, he's looking for a pass. And they'll change the lines. St. Louis, three goals behind now. Minnesota won, St. Louis, uh, Minnesota four, St. Louis won here in Minnesota on opening day of the NHL 1990-91 season. Force dumping if the right defence is a five or more. And he is not. So the left defender has it. And he's looking to pass. 
So Scott Stevens skating up the ice, looking to pass left wing, left defence, great than nine. And they are not, so he gets the puck over to Brett Hull, 16. That's going to be a shot five for Hull. He's the defensive right defender of three or more he is, so he might forces the shot wide, and we have a loose puck, and it's going to end up with Brett Hull again. Dumping if the right defence is a defence of three, and he is, so Hull will have to dump the puck in. And it's a puck battle between the offensive centre plus two, which is an eight, and the defensive centre, so Basson wins that puck battle. But time is beginning to run out. We're nearly halfway through this period. St. Louis three goals behind. Dumping if the right wing's defence is a seven, and it is not. So the left defender, Scott Stevens, steps up to the puck, and he loses the puck. And Stu Gavin... Recovers from Minnesota, and they come back up the ice. Take away if the left defence take is a seven, and it is not. So the right wing, Don Barker, who ended up in Winnipeg at, at the end of the season, has the puck, and he gets a great pass off to Murphy, who will get a shot off, and that shot is good. 92, so it's going to be saved by Rando. And it's going to end up with Glenn Featherston. Still not a shot in this third period for St. Louis. They've just been inept at shooting the last two periods. Interception of centre and left wing at 12, and they are not. So the right defender, Featherston, steps up to the puck, and he's at the blue line, looks for a pass. He's going to pass it over to Scott Stevens, and Scott Stevens will get the first shot off, possibly. And he does, so Scott Stevens gets the sh first shot of this period. And it is a 30, which is a rebound. So John Casey saves the puck. And the rebound is the offensive centre, which is a 6 against defence centre plus 5. So he loses it out to Berezin. And Berezin comes up the ice with the puck. And they swap the lines out. Halfway through this second period, we've had three goals all to Minnesota in this period, which has really knocked the stuffing out of St. Louis. Interception if the left defence, right defence is 11, and they're not. So it's going to come to the centre, Gagné, and he's going to get a shot five off. And that shot is going to be on target, 87. He's going to be held by Rindo, and we're going to have a face-off between Ronin and Gagné. Uh, Ronin is kicked out of the circle, so Lowry comes in to take it, and he loses that face-off. And Minnesota once again have the puck. Centre left wing, greater than 11, no they're not, so the right defender, Musil, who scored the last goal of the game, he gets a chance, and he's going to look, skate up the ice, looking for a better option. Is the left wing's hit greater than five? No, it isn't. And that option will be Brian Bellows. But he loses out to the puck. Left wing is break greater than one. And it is, so Dave Lowry has a break. And he has a shot five, which is a 13 and he scores, he scores, so a breakaway shot for Dave Lowry. So St. Louis pull one back, and that is timed at 10.47. Even-handed, Lowry, there's no assist because it was a breakaway. First shot. A goal 